All right, hey everybody, this is AJ for Celestial Tacos. Unfortunately, the video I plan to get put up this coming Monday isn't going to be ready in time due to uh, my computer's old as hell and it's time to upgrade it. But like most people, I just don't have the kind of funds to be kicking that around. So I'm going to do this for now and we'll see where it goes. Now, today's topic, we're going to be talking about getting into doing a YouTube channel. There's a lot more involved than you would think. There's a lot of electronics, a lot of hardware, a lot of accessories. A lot of different little things that come together to make a YouTube video actually work. Some examples, you need a good computer with a great processor, lots of RAM, lots of different uh, computer terms that uh, escape my mind at this moment in time. You also need a really good camera so you can capture every moment of everything that you do. You also need some nice lighting, some nice backgrounds. That's why a lot of uh, gaming producers, they put a shelf behind them with all kinds of uh, games that they play or they just collect. At least they put the boxes behind them. So it gives you something interesting to look at while you're uh, sitting there listening to them chit chat. Dreams for a studio one day, you know, just shelves and shelves of awesome stuff for you to stare at while you listen to me talk and grumble and whatever else I might be doing. Now as for what I do, I have my old computer, which does some things. I can do these vlog type channel, uh, vlog type videos, rather, where I'm just me talking. I can throw some images up to give you something to look at. I can do a little background noise so you have something else to listen to while I'm talking. And I do all the recording for the audio, at least, on my phone. And I tried to record video, but then when I put it into my computer, my computer had a duh moment and decided, and decided to desync my voice from the video itself. So it looked like I was horribly, horribly lip reading myself. So that actually made it so I couldn't do the next video that I wanted to do. I have to wait to do that video until I can get a, a little bit better computer, which... Thank you. You know who you are. I really appreciate you for doing that for me. I really, really do appreciate that. I got an older phone. It's a Note 9 Galaxy. It works. You know, camera on it's decent. I got this voice recording app that works out pretty good. You can understand most of the stuff I'm saying. It's got a pause function, so if I need to stop to take a breath or think about what I'm about to say, I can hit the pause button. Now, as for throwing my videos together... I used the AVS video editing program. It was free. I'm not sure where I got it from, but probably downloaded it online like everything else. It's a basic piece of uh, piece of software that it gives you a little timeline, and you just plug in every little detail that you want into your video. It's got a line for the main video, a line for overlays, a line for voice, a line for music, just all the basic stuff. Of course, this editing software is a little bit of a learning curve, especially if you have no idea what you're doing and you're just getting into it to start. So I was putting a background image as my main video, because that's like just the base and then everything else would be on top of that. But then when I went to put my audio track in the bottom, with the line where it's supposed to go, it was pushing my picture for my background way off to the side. And then when I tried to move the audio over so that, so that the picture was showing with the audio, it cut it off right there and started a brand new file. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, leave me in the comments down below that I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I can maybe try to explain it a little better. Maybe not. So then about, I don't know, three, four days, I'm messing around with this, this uh, software. I finally, I think I figured it out for the most part. I'm still going to mess up with it because it's still new to me. It's free software, so it's not like the best on the planet. But it works. It, it, it does what I need it to do for now. And I'm just going to make these vlog videos as long as I can. Eventually I'm going to do other stuff. I want to do unboxings. I want to do some, um, I'm calling them pack one, pick ones. Look for those if you're a Magic the Gathering player. Those are going to be kind of cool. going to do a little bit more reviews with uh, the Warhammer 40k stuff. That's what this next video I was planning on doing was going to be. Was for the Gene Studio Colts Combat Patrol box. I'm going to do a review of the contents of that box. But a little, little different spin than other people who review boxes. So I just look forward to that eventually. And eventually, yeah, I want to get a new camera. I want to get a microphone set up. I want to have an actual like little mini studio where I can do my recording and actually look nice. Unfortunately, this time I 
have a uh, curtain that I sit in front of, and then I have the camera facing me. So it's like me up against the black background. So it, it's basic, it's simple, but it works, you know? Or at least you'll see eventually that, that's, that it works. And I was trying to think of different things I could get now that would a little inexpensive, you know, cheaper, that I could get now to help up the value of my the production value of my videos. And I found this little cheap uh, ring light with the mount in the middle for my phone. It was like 30 bucks on Amazon. And came with a little Bluetooth remote so I can have my phone set up and then just use the remote to take video, stop go with the video. It's pretty cool. It's actually kind of handy. So as I'm setting up my table to have, you know, have a table in front of me so I have something to put my notes down on, put examples of what I'm talking about down on. I'm trying to figure out where to put this remote so I have easy access to it so I can turn the camera on and off while I'm still talking, done talking in between takes. So every time I looking back at my videos every time I go to hit the button you can see me moving to hit the button so I gotta figure out something to do that it's not like I can put it in my pocket and hit the button from my pocket while I'm talking with my hands because I, I do that talking with your hands thing where you're just constantly moving your fingers and your palms up and down and whatever else we do when we talk to move you know move our mouth and move our hands too the other thing I noticed when I noticed when I'm recording my phone I'm sitting further back obviously the microphone's gonna pick up different volumes of my voice and it kind of sounds like one part where I'm right on the top of the phone so it kind of sounds a little bit closer like this and other parts where I'm back a little bit and it sounds a little bit like this I hope that sounds differently I'm just recording this right now I'm not gonna do a playback and edit thing not ready for that yet so in my little table setup that I was recording now is this is a little folding table that we have that we fold laundry on sometimes and I have one of my daughter's little Minnie Mouse chairs because the table's so short I needed something to kind of make up the difference and I was just in this little tiny pink wooden chair and it's sitting at this little table with a camera facing me and then I used one of my um, my uh, wargaming cloth neoprene mats flipped it over so the black side was showing and that was just kind of my tabletop so it was kind of an even color and it looked nice the other thing you don't consider when doing a YouTube channel is do you wear just your normal street clothes? Do you change clothes between takes? Do you have costumes? You know, that kind of stuff. It's like the professor from Magic the Gathering to Lane Community College, he, uh, he always wears the nice suits and he, he just looks a little dapper, you know? But I think he's just recycling his clothes from when he was a professor. It just gives the clothes life, gives him a character, so he looks nice on camera. I mean, I, I wear Star Wars t-shirts and freaking basketball shorts all day long and I don't want to be on camera like that. It's, that's not the image I'm trying to give with my my YouTube channel. Oh, my closet. I picked up one of my nice little uh, funeral slash court date shirts. And I just threw that on. So I had, I looked a little nice. A nice little collared little uh, long sleeve shirt. So it looked nice. And I got to thinking, if I have to reshoot something, I have to put that damn shirt back on. So I hung it back up in the closet. It's waiting to go just in case. I still got to record the intro to that video. But one step at a time. But yeah, overall, not a not a bad couple, first couple weeks of doing this YouTube channel thing. Learned a lot. Definitely learned a lot. Like, definitely need to upgrade my hardware as, pretty much as quickly as I can, so I can start putting out the better quality stuff and not just my voice rambling on. I mean, it's it's 11:40 at night. I hope my voice isn't too bad right now. Probably is. Definitely need to figure out some sort of environment to be recording in. I mean, I could just have the camera facing down at my table, but then I would never be on camera if I did that, so it's like I kind of want to kind of want to do both, so I have to figure out a happy medium with that. And this is all just really practice until I can actually start doing what I really want to do with this, this channel. It's not just promoting my store, that's a part of it, but I don't want that to be the biggest part, you know. The promotion thing is great because you get my voice and my words out there, but I need to offer you guys something that you're going to want to listen to and offer some new information, something that can help you instead of just trying to produce myself and put myself out in the world like that, which is really the, the main story, or the main lesson here is you make a YouTube channel for other people. <clears throat> you do what you want to do, but in the end, you're doing it for other people. And it's those people that are going to keep coming back and keep watching your stuff and subscribe and eventually get you to that monetization that you want so you can quit your job and just make YouTube videos all day. 
All right, well, if you've made it this far, that's it. This is AJ for Celestial Tacos. Check out my eBay store. Hit that like, subscribe, and share button. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. If I'm crazy, whatnot, you tell me. All right, peace out.